I've been working in casinos for over 20 years. I've held every position in casinos. I've worked in every department. Doing some consultancy work, um, Asper's when they were opening the site here in London and they asked me to come in and head up the poker department. The strategy was very unique for this site for Asper's um, when we opened the poker room because geographically we were the first casino in this area and there's a lot of competition in central London. We decided to go in with a very soft approach and try and build a new poker community. We were at a point where we thought we could compete with the other rooms um, elsewhere in the UK and in Europe and we've gone from strength to strength ever since. So we've tried to become more personal with our players. The staff feel that they're part of the family and I think that reflects on the customers and how the customers feel and uh, behave. We've recently just changed our head chef who has complete control of the menu and the quality of the food has really improved and the feedback from the customers is excellent. And what made us unique more than any other casino is we have 150 slot machines, which means that our jackpots hit more regularly, which means our players win more often, which is really nice. The first time we worked with WPT in Aspers as an environment, I'd created a new event, which I called the Aspers Accumulator, and it was a low stakes buy-in, and WPT decided they, they wanted to partner with us on that specific project because they didn't have a low stakes tournament at that time. And um, when the time was right, we've got back together and we've decided to do this event, the WPT 500. I loved the concept when Matt created it a few years ago. I thought it was a really, really clever format and I thought it would be something that 88 would get a good buy-in and online. Um, so I just thought it was a very good fit for all parties to relaunch the WPT brand in Aspers. We decided, and again it kind of goes back to Matt Savage, when we opened Asper's Stratford we insisted that the rules were going to be the TDA. No amendments, nothing else. And we were very honest with players and we explained the reasons why we make decisions, that it's all about the players, that everything that we do is to benefit them. Obviously we run a business and we obviously have to, to do our best to run that business, but the best way to run the business in our opinion is to include the players and make them feel that they belong. And I think we've done a good job of that. Play fun, exciting poker at clubwpt.com today.